I'm going to show you how to stretch your investment dollars as far as possible. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. This is the show where I work with investors like you one-on-one. -on -one. This is a personalized video, right? You're only watching this after the fact. I sent this to my man, JD, months ago, privately, right? Because that's what I do because the deal we're going to look at today is a real deal. It's available. It's on the market, and I'm helping JD buy it, right? JD, I'm helping you stretch your money. You've been looking at some bird deals, right? Because it helps you stretch that money as far as you can, right? But a different way, there's, there's multiple ways to achieve your goals, brother. A different way to stretch those funds, I think, and it could be easier because you don't have to do a big rehab, right? And you don't even have to bring as much to the table up front, is to focus on the very best type of investment to finance, the four-unit apartment building. So in the interest of stretching your money as far as we possibly can, J.D., I really thought you should take a look at this deal because I think it's a screamer, and if I were you, I would jump on it. Let's get into the details right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back, folks. Now we are going to get into the meat, the meat of this four-unit apartment building. And I think the four-unit apartment building is literally the greatest investment you could make as a new real estate investor, okay? It is superior to the five-unit apartment building and to the three-unit apartment building. Do the math on that, right? The four is better than the one right under it, and it's also better than the one right over it. How does that work, right? Because of the financing. The financing of a four-unit apartment building makes it the most superior asset that I believe you can buy. Let me explain. In real estate, Right? Financing should be the number one reason you want to invest in rental real estate, right? You're getting a mortgage from the bank and then your tenants are paying off that mortgage and you're making cash flow and you're making appreciation, right? This is why more millionaires, self made millionaires, have been made through real estate than anything else in the world, right? They ain't making no more land, okay? And if people want to loan you money, take it. It's the cheapest kind of money you can get if you get a residential loan, okay? Here's the thing with residential loans. There's two downsides. One, you only get 10 of them, so you're very limited to what you can do, so you better use all 10. Two, it's a very small t small amount of properties that you can utilize this amazing residential financing. Single families, duplexes, triplexes, quads. Quads, the biggest property you can get with this amazing residential financing. If you get a four unit, you get more rent than if you get a three unit. If you get a five unit, you can't get residential financing. You now got to get commercial financing, which is not as attractive. No longer do you get super low interest. You probably got higher interest. No longer do you get a fixed down payment amount. It's probably going to be a lot higher than the 25% you're used to. No longer do you get 30 years to pay it back. More like five. That's what we're typically seeing, right? A lot of variable rates. The whole thing's all messy, okay? So the four unit, my favorite. We got a four unit that just hit the market in Cleveland. 34, 32, West 40. First Cleveland 4 for 109. Solid like C type D grade area. Pretty close to Metro Health. Metro Health, they're investing a billion dollars into their campus and the surrounding area. So this, if you're going to buy low income stuff, this is where I like to be. So as far as the neighborhood goes, I think it's the best low income neighborhood in Cleveland. And as far as the asset goes, the best type of asset I think you could buy. Needless to say, I freaking love this deal. Now, uh, big old quad here, fully occupied, right? So the photos you see, this is before they put the tenants in there. And, you know, it's a hodgepodge of photos, right? We got some outdated carpet. Uh, this is probably why they're getting below market rents, right? The rents are not, like, extremely below what they should be, uh, but they're not as high as they should, right? So as we as investors continue to operate this, we would want to aim to make a better look to our units so we can get 
the actual market rents, right? Because this particular investor, they're not maxing out their investment by like leaving this carpet in here like this. This doesn't make anybody money, right? He's losing money because the people that are picking uh, and choosing an apartment like this are going to pick it because it's like cheaper than everything else or just because it's like what they could afford or what was available, right? If you provide them something nicer, They'll pay a premium, number one. Number two, more importantly, they will stay longer, right? So we're probably going to see natural turnover at this building. And at that point, you want to go in, repaint all the walls, rip out this old carpet, refinish those beautiful hardwoods, and, you know, really spruce things up, right? But as far as the mechanicals go, looking good, man. These furnaces... They look pretty darn new to me. Hot water tank's pretty darn new as well. Furnaces, just so everybody's aware, these last 30 years, and they cost about $3,000 to replace. These hot water tanks last about 15 years, cost $1,000 each to replace, right? We got a quad, so we got four of each, but all looking freaking new. Updated electrical, right? So it's just cosmetic is uh, what's not looking fly, and it's a uh, brick building, which is quite nice, right? Don't have to worry about as many uh, paint issues, right? Like Cleveland, they're not going to uh, crack it down on lead-based paint, right? You don't have exterior uh, wood-painted surfaces for the majority of the building. Yes, you got a little bit of the porch, but imagine if your whole building was wood, right? So it really eliminates a lot of your issues, okay? Now, as I said, the rents are a little bit lower, right? The current rents that we're seeing, I believe they have it on their listing, don't they? Yes, the current rents we're seeing... 550, 650, 650, 650, right? Now, and if this investor would have taken the time to actually make their units a little bit nicer, they could have maxed it out and got what we should really be receiving, which is actually $3,000 a month. We should be bringing in three grand a month because those are all $750 units all friggin' day, right? So that's 36 k a year. Now, what that's going to look like is probably a expense estimate for the year, just under 19 Gs, right? So you're looking at a little bit over 17,000 in pure profit. As far as the price goes, right? They're asking two and a quarter, okay? Two and a quarter. We got to bid two and a quarter, if not above list. You should probably bid above list because there's going to be multiple people trying to take this thing down because it's the greatest type of investment there is. The financing really allows you to stretch things out. Look at this. If you bought it at 225, what they're asking, which again, you're probably going to want to bid higher. But if you can get it at 225, if you're lucky enough, you only got to put down 56 and a quarter. We're going to get the bank to give you 168750 on a 30-freaking-year loan. It's going to project out to a 16% cash-on-cash cash return, a 7-7 seven, seven cap, right? If, if you only get 10 mortgages, right, why do you want to burn your 10 mortgages on a single? Why take a mortgage and get one rental income check when you can take the same mortgage and get four rental income checks? checks imagine if you can get 10 of these suckers 40 rental income checks for all these little mortgages right the thing with the cleveland market is quads do not come up on the market every day quads also don't come on the market very often where the big ticket items the furnaces the hot water tanks the electric all fresh and new right so at least 225 is what you need to pay i think you should probably pay a little bit more let me know how much you want to bid because I do not think you want to pass this one up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.